Welcome to the digital walkthrough of the day the earth started healing itself, a mandatory consciousness raising group. Uh, I've had one eighth of a weed cookie and like three sips of a beer. So I feel like perfectly good to do this. Uh, um, this is a piece I did in quarantine called Cherry Bomb. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm very good at painting, but I like it. Um, this is a kind of a self-portrait. There'll be another visual of it. Um, I put the grass down probably like a week before the opening and it stayed good and some dude took it um, at the end all dried up. He was really excited about it. Uh, another quarantine painting. Happy dude. Uh, yeah, those are the grass steps. Uh, a paper drawing, colored pencil drawing paper stuck to paper. That was just some material left over that I decided to stick on the wall. Um, this idea sort of came to me originally. I was gonna spray paint on the doors like 19, 1200 and something else. I don't know. It was like mid-COVID and I thought it was cool but then I decided against it. There's some shoes walking. Um, I had the idea to have people draw on the wall when some friends came over. I didn't do that painting, I was down like that. Um, some friends came over to the space and then I said they should draw on the wall and then they started drawing on the wall and I said everyone should do that. Um, I was going to put that sort of sheet I was gonna like make little clouds, but then I decided to make a wall. Um, this is also another found piece. This is not. Um, something I made myself. You have to crawl under to get to the other side. There's some poems in there that I think are really good, but I didn't save the document, so I didn't put them in this video, but if you want them, you can ask me. Uh, also, those are sort of reliefs from doing screen printing on bags and shirts for uh, music stuff, and then just for other stuff. There's a secret painting in the top right corner. Uh, with an air mattress. Kind of cool visual of the other side from there. I did this when I was that thing on the right um, using my screen printing material and I used chalk on that. It sort of turned into a person thing. Oh, this is also a quarantine painting. Uh, kind of a second go through. Um, yeah, that thing kind of turned into a person. This was this was the thing. It was um, chalk and sort of screen print reliefs and uh, had an interesting effect. The projections are from me walking around town generally, and then a, tr a trip I took and compiling those two things together. I think the major idea that I had with this thing was like creating space and what we call a neighborhood and who's included and why and why are there people mm, sort of hidden from our communities that are still in our communities but um, but are not really represented there purposefully not there. Um, this feels pretty insane looking at it. It feels it feels uh, good. 
I liked putting the sand down. But definitely a juxtaposition from the other side, which feels maybe a bit more happier or something. Although I feel like this whole thing is much creepier than I intended it to be. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty fun, but it's pretty creepy. Oh, the sound pieces are, uh, it's like a bell hooks conversation, uh, Don Bacon's uh, political advertisement, car horns honking, um, like a Disney theme song, um, some guitar playing, some drums, that's about it. People's graffiti. That was pretty interesting to see the variation of people's input. I did the mailbox <laughs> originally. I did like the walls and the quote unquote house and stuff. The bushes. Melinda is helping me with the bushes. Um, shout out to Melinda for their assistance. Yeah, crawling under was not planned, but I'm glad I did that. Definitely a mood. Is outside. Some Forever to store. put up the door. Yeah. Door. Okay. Here's the door. Those are the L brackets that are pain in the butt. I'm screwing in that thing. That's the ceiling. That's the rod thing. It's like four feet. I think I'm gonna get one big long chain and just like draw it through a couple times on each side once I get the other one in. And then um, I feel like that'll be sturdy if it's like looped through like three times or something. But yeah, that's, that's it. Working on this door was like 50% of my energy for this show. That's my biggest accomplishment from this is the door. The art is bad, but the door, um, it's my magnum opus. Thanks for watching. Um, be safe and be well. Love ya. Bye.